Japan, Tokyo. Bro, when you come to Japan, come get this. Let's talk about sheet masks. There's so many Korean skincare. This, I think, is one of the brands that really started the enzyme wash boom. I see you right now. Your skin looks flawless. Yeah, glow is, ooh, oh, too much shine. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are not in Korea, but we are in Japan, Tokyo. Yeah. And we are in front of Tokyo today. And I have a very special guest with me, Laura. Hi, my name is Laura, and I'm super happy to be here. I'm so happy to see Yuni on me in Japan. Yo, that's crazy. And uh, yeah, I do a lot of J Beauty content. So if you want to check it out, I have a Tiki Toki. It's called Be Your Best Beauty. That's where I do most of my stuff. I also have a blog where you can read the words that I say on the screen. <laughs> that's also called Be Your Best Beauty. And I have an Instagram that I don't upload to realistically. But if you want to follow that, that's also Be Your Best Beauty. That's it. I love hey. that. Yeah, I thank love you so that. much. Yeah. So I needed a little bit of help uh, with Japanese skincare. So that's why I have my friends here right here today. And we're going to have so much fun. So let's go skincare shopping in Woo! Tokyo! Oh, okay, we got the internal beauty. So this is for the bath stuff. Ooh! The kakiyu. This is when you know when you're taking a bath. It's like um I don't know if it's Epsom salts, but it's like Epsom salt like. So you in the bath and you relaxing, and then you could put that in there, and then they have different effects. So some of them will have uh, what's this one? Okay, this one actually it says it's for your skin to help you know like your skin breaking out. So it's supposed to help with that, and also just like breaking out and almost like allergy kind of thingies. This is the pink one. The other ones are kind of like for relaxing, you know, cause you work hard. You want to go home and relax, okay? what we want to do so that's like body stuff here oh i love that here we have a bunch of hair colors and different products is what we got going on over here so you know don't get hold it if you want to get hair stuff don't get hold this a place to come because they have this and panic not panic at the disco that's a band <laughs> What's it called? village vanguard yes those are like the two places if you want to get like crazy color hair stuff the places to come is don't Quixote and village vanguard this right here hold up this yolu yolu I think it's supposed to be like yoru which means night in japanese but this is so popular right now like the, all the beauty influencers in japan this is what they be talking about this yoru this is the hair treatment and then they have is this the yeah it says treatment but i'm pretty sure this is a conditioner because they have the shampoo there mm -hmm. and then the so don't don't get fooled i think this is a conditioner <laughs> they're trying to fool you don't fall for the trap so this is the treatment huh so yes the treatment is this here Ooh. and i believe that this is a yeah it says the hair oil on there mm. and then they have oh this says unerigami so unerigami is kind of like curly hair Ooh. but you know japanese curly hair and my curly hair are different so if you have curly, curly hair, you can try this if you want. But I'm just saying, it's it's $14. That's an investment. That's true. That's true. So just keep in mind, unerigami is stuff for curly hair. But it might be like, you know, Japanese kind of wavy hair. It's just something to keep in mind. But another brand, I mean, this is a brand that people really talk about when they come to Japan is Honey. I've never tried any of their products. But this, people be like, bro, when you come to Japan, come get this. I saw this everywhere. Right? Right. Every time I come here, I see this everywhere. And someone said that the pink oil here, there's supposed to be an oil, but there's none. I'm assuming that it's amazing and it'll change your life and you're going to get a new job and get a husband and a family. That's what I'm assuming because it's not there. And so that one, someone on TikTok said that it's good for curly hair. I have not tried it, so I would not be able to tell you. But that's the word on the street, supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> We're getting into now the cleansers because, you know, you want to cleanse your face. It's the first step. What's the step? Cleanser. Yeah. Yes, the cleansing step. Okay. So the same hair brand. Ooh. They have cleansing balms. They do. It looks delicious. But they have like these different these are new, I think. And then someone had asked me, I think, on TikTok, they were like, do they still have this? They have this in some stores. So this seems like hold on. Skincare cleanse balms in blue clay. It says it has Sika, which Sika is good, you know, like soothing. For the skin, that's really nice. I don't think that the regular one has that. Shall we do a little a tasty swatch? Let's do it. Let's do Not it. Not tasty swatch. You swatch you watching? <laughs> okay. Oh, you see how? Ooh, oh, my It's gosh. already, like, melted. Right? Look at that. Oh, you have such soft hands. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm getting your hands all dirty. This smells like... This smells like it's been here a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go wash my hands real quick. <laughs> oh, actually, I think you mentioned Funko. But before Funko... So this brand Duo is off and popping. 
this brand right here it actually it's interesting because it started off mainly in like what is it called uh instagram advertisements but I, you know you see some instagram advertisements you're like is this legit like i'm like this is suspicious but it like was a good product actually so it became it's i think the signature one is which one is the signature one i think it's just the regular black one right here why is this box destroyed to all living beings but this one and then they have different types so this one is for if you have kansel or yuragi hada so that's like kansel is dry skin if your skin is feeling kind of weak this is what you would want to get and then this is it says for like adult poor care they got aging care they have for uh kusumi is like dullness so a little bit of a brightening effect but this is a really expensive bomb oh it is it's 3,600 yen, but this is the bomb that kind of started the bomb boom in Japan. Before this, I don't really remember bombs being like super a thing, but this guy came in here, Duo was like, bro, I'm here, and then everybody else was like, oh my gosh, we're here too. We're here too. <laughs> so that's why, honey, you're welcome. That's what we got. But, so, Fankeru. We got Fankeru over here. So in Japanese, you say Fankeru, even though it's written fun Funko. I don't know how to say it. How do you say Fankeru? Fankeru? Ah, Fankeru. Yeah, Fankeru. Oh, Fankeru. So, Fankeru is a really popular brand because their main thing is that they don't use, um, there's like five things that they say that they don't use. And it's parabens. Hold on, no, wait, no, I'm not gonna remember. But they have it on the box usually. They don't have it on this box. Very useful. Very useful. <laughs> I know that they don't use parabens. They usually like it to be alcohol free. One of their most popular uh, things is this. The Funko Mild Oil. I've used it before. I would recommend it. But there's another one that I recommend more. So if Ooh. I see it in Nokia, I'll let you know. Oh, one thing I really wanted to ask is this. Oh, yes. Is the like powder cleansers, is that a thing? Yes. Enzyme powder washes are super often popping and booming and woman. Because in Korea, it, it was so popular, I think back in the days too, especially mm. um, exfoliation for skin with sensitivity. Mm. But again, enzyme powder washes are becoming really popular. Mm. Like Papa Recipe, um, mm. Um, mm. and they have the Buy Wish Trend one, the green oh. tea one, which is like OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been around for a long time, so yeah. Uh, even, um, <sighs> if this is a popular, I'm not sure, I wanted to ask you this too. Imbuli. Imbuli. Blibli. Is that a popular brand Beri in Beri. Japan? I call, it, I call it I call it Beri Beri. I think Beri Beri. Yeah, yeah. Beli Beli is the makeup. I think is more popular Ooh. than the skincare. Yeah, and I feel like I know I have one of their sunscreens that mm. was popular for a bit. I saw your sun serum. Oh yeah, I have that one too. Collagen sun serum, Yo, the pink one. Shiny, bro. Ooh. You you want to look like the sun? You must use that sunscreen. Glowing. Glowing. I love that uh, mm. post. I'm gonna insert that one in. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Oh, but I was really curious because I remember like the first ones I saw were the Japanese ones, like packaged individually like this all the time. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, I was wondering if it's oh that one. Yeah. So this I think is one of the brands that really started the enzyme wash boom. Because mm. when I I remember when I first started seeing this, and then it was it was like multiplying. It was almost like like a yeah. fungus. I was like, it's just <laughs> growing. It just keeps growing more and more because the demand was. So so high and especially yeah. at the time yeah. it was when like chinese consumers could come in but um they would come and they would buy this Ooh. buy it up and so i think that's really one of the things that helps this often pop so this is the original i think this is the og this what's suicide. the name of this uh suicide suicide yes oh actually in korea too this is really popular they mm -hmm. sell it at olive young oh really so this is one of the most popular like powder washes too mm -hmm. they have it here and then so the blue one is the basic Ooh. this is your basic model but <gasps> then they have look this is Ooh. for like pore care well they're, they're all for pore care like camera yeah. but this one especially it says um tekari Betatsuki, so tekari is like shininess. Betatsuki is like that kind of stickiness yeah. that comes with like oily skin. So this is specifically made for that one. Ooh, I love that. And Funker, they even have like this one, which is also a powder wash. Ooh. But instead of individually wrapped, it comes in a bottle. And I have this one too. And I don't particularly have sensitive skin, I feel. But I feel like my skin feels like it's sensitive. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. You know? So then this one is also really nice. I don't think it's as... I don't want to say those are aggressive. But I feel like this one is even more mild than that one. And it's very nice for traveling. You know, if you want to wash your face on the go. So this is definitely a nice one. Oh, can I ask you what your skin type is? I don't think I asked that. Dry. 
<laughs> like the desert. Oh yeah, you have really clear skin, so you don't have acne prone skin either, huh? No. Ooh. No. So like I know the acne girlies be like, oh like I I don't know what that's like to live with like acne prone skin, but also That's me right here. <laughs> oh really? <gasps> I have acne prone skin. I watched your videos and I did not know that. Yeah, I mean right now my skin is so in the worst condition because I forgot my exfoliator. That's why I asked about powder washes because I usually use powder washes. I'm like, I need to buy one because my my skin's breaking out like crazy right now. So the regular Funka oil is the blue one, but then this black one they came out, and this is specifically also made for oily skin. This is a new product. It came out, I think, I know it came out this year, earlier this year, but again, it follows the same Funkeru model where it's supposed to be for like, you know, not too aggressive on the skin and it's got no synthetic colors, no like synthetic, uh, yeah, no synthetic colorings, no synthetic fragrances, no parabens, things like that. So if you're interested, I would definitely check out Funkeru. Oh, you guys, this is something that I've used like bottles. Like I think I've more, used more than 20 of these. I love the Kiss Me Mascara Remover. Do you use this? Yes, I do use that. So I use that usually for like, you know, like waterproof mascara. And you know how like Hero and Make mascara is super popular and everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's waterproof. But I actually have a mascara that you don't really hear about, but it's also super waterproof. And I heard about it for my Japanese friend. I have it on right now. You do? Yes. Are my, wait, are my eyelashes still up? Yeah. Still are they still up? up? We still, still up. Oh, okay. We're, We're doing good. good. We're, We're doing good. good. <laughs> yeah. So when I put this one on, the only thing that will get it off is that remover right there, the Hero and Make. The best part is only 840 yen. So it's so cheap. It's so cheap. And even if you buy it overseas in places like Yes Style and stuff, it's still like not super expensive. So 100% recommend it. If you use mascara, if you have eyelashes and you use mascara, <laughs> I would recommend you take this home. Well, pay for it and take it home. Yo, okay. So let's talk about sheet masks. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna let you talk about sheet masks. Let's talk about sheet masks. Hey, let's talk about sheet masks. No, this is... This is a... Uh, oh, okay. Dangerous. I almost stopped recording. This is my area. First of all, I'm going to let you know right now. If you come to Don Quixote and you see these guys right here. I'm showing you this guy, right? So this is like a Don Quixote special. Ooh. That you can only get here. Yeah. Oh, is that a little sticker that says that? Yeah, you see the, the, little, little, ma the little mascot? I don't know what his name is. That Cutie right there. Right? No. I see you. I mean, we have all of Young exclusive stuff. So they have Don Quixote exclusive stuff. Yeah. Good Don to know. So this is like, you see it's very kind of marketed for like foreigners coming. Like you come. Oh, you get a sake mask. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> I came here actually the other day and I saw this and I was like, oh, they got a rice mask. This is Looks, doesn't this look suspicious? This packaging. Oh, this, is, is it the same thing as this? Right? Is, isn't that a little? Isn't that hold a little, up? A little, a little saucy? If you didn't tell me, I thought I would have thought that it's the same brand. It's not because I don't read Japanese. You know? Yeah. It's not. It's not. This is just again. This is like Don Quixote. Let me see if it's the Don Quixote. Don Quixote. They have like their what is it called? Like um in-house brand. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's the in-house brand, but they do a lot of PB in brand. Like they, they make their own. Yes. they know it's best sellers. So yes. they know it will sell. And with this cute packaging, bro, that's gonna catch your eye. Oh, that's true. But this this brand, this is a no no man brand. I don't know who this guy is. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, there's so many Korean skincare, bro. <gasps> oh, in Japan, we I say we as if I'm Japanese. I'm not. I just live here. But we love our Korean skin mask. I actually I used last night a uh, Korean cheap mask. What did you use? Hold on, let me take it out. Let me go. They don't have it. They don't have it. <laughs> number three. Oh, number three. Number three. Number three is so good. I yeah. need that for my dead skin cells. I need that. <laughs> Why yeah. do you love that one? Because I think I saw. I mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about it, but I know that Tina Tanaka Harris. She mentioned that she used it before a wedding. I'm like, it's it's a little creepy how much I can remember. But anyway, um, she used it before a wedding. She said it gives her kind of like that plump effect. So I just kept that in the back of my mind. I was like, oh, if you have a special event, like use it the night before and i'm like for me meeting uni only is a special event Aww. so i was like gotta get, gotta get ready <laughs> but they don't have it so i can't even show it to you but it'll be that's one of my favorites too mm. it's so good i actually uh wear it before filming like for wish trend tv mm. or when i know my makeup has to look good like in person it has to look good you know i see you right now your skin looks flawless oh too much shine i'm <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> 
Don't work Ooh, on that. So, but, mm, what other brands, Korean brands, is popular? Maybe the ones that we see right here. This is really popular. Like the right here, Toriden. Oh. They have a little station over there. Wow. Yeah, Toriden is station, huh? popular. Manyo is also super duper popular. The right. cleansing oil is. I think it was over there in the section. But yeah, these pop brands are. There's more here that we just can't see. Oh, look! This is actually Nature Republic. Ooh, uh, yeah, I see a lot of na Nature Republic uh, in. Oh, and um, VT, I don't see it here, but VT oh. is everywhere. You can't avoid it. VT <gasps> in Japan Dang. is absolutely unavoidable. And Japanese people love it. And I'm not gonna lie, I love the daily sheet mask. It's so good. Like, so thin. And like, how you said, like, she wanted like refreshing. Like, ooh, it feels so good. By the way, Laura's also learning Korean right now. A will be. <laughs> I will be. But it's nowhere, you know, I can't, I can't be telling you about ingredients and stuff like that in Korean. That's why I stay to the Japanese content. Mm. Oh, can I tell you one like inside thing oh, about yeah. VT? Mm. Their biggest sales is Japan. Not Korea, not America, but it's, it's Japan. Go they, us. They, Go uh -huh. us. <laughs> Me contributing. Hey. Hey. Yes. Speaking of sheet masks, if we can continue. This series right here Ooh. is crazy. <gasps> Amazing. I see you. The quality for oh, 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 sorry about that. Quality first. Because quality first has, if you see, it says quality first here. But this right here, specifically the Derma Laser series, is so nice. And the sheet mask, it's, you see how, like, it's, it's thick? Like, it's full of liquid so juicy each sheet mask you just have to like you gonna get you gonna get wet okay not just your face you're gonna get wet because it just drips so much but a lot of them have uh th this one it says it has nama bc which raw vitamin c so i believe Ooh. that it means it has ascorbic acid which that's like um what is that it's not the vitamin c derivative it's like the big boy Pure ascorbic acid? Yes, yeah, yes, pure I vitamin C. Yes, I believe that that's what they mean. Hold on. Ooh, that's mean. interesting because we don't see that a lot, I think, in sheet masks, right? So yeah, so this one has ascorbin san. And that's why, like, when it came out, you couldn't find this. This one. And then the predecessor to this one was this one, which also has vitamin C. Ooh. But I don't know if this one has ascorbin san. Hold mm. up. If it does, then I'm like, my life is a lie. It has vitamin C derivatives. But the silver one does not have ascorbic acid that's what it's called ascorbic acid over here and then so you got the ceramide uh, oh I'm sorry. you mean you mean the gold one doesn't have it yes yeah, so yeah. this one has vitamin c derivatives, derivatives. Mm -hmm. and this one is big bad boy with ascorbic acid oh i gotta try this one then yeah mm. and the best part is it says use it for three minutes so it's like it doesn't take a lot of time that's interesting usually you feel like you would use it up you know mm. before it starts like sucking back in the moisture you know yeah Ooh, three minutes just three minutes and you're good to go so i love that mask so we're gonna do another recommendation and then we're gonna do an anti recommendation what was that trend on tiktok d d influencing Ooh. get ready to be de influenced but first get ready to be influenced okay so the saborino sheet masks over here this is the original this is the OG. Oh yeah, you, you see this. Yeah. You see this everywhere. Because this is the first one that they came out. And the idea is that you put this on in the morning and it's supposed to be the Kesho Sui, which is the toner. And it's also supposed to be the Bio Eki, which is the serum. And then I think, it's not a cream obviously, but it's essentially like, it says here, Sengan. So like face wash. So you just put this on after you wake up and then the skincare is the actual mask. And then posture study. So it's a moisture foundation. So you do this and then you're good to go. Is what it says. But I think that for me and a person who has dry skin, maybe this is not enough. It could just be like a good first step. And also um it has menthol. So if you're sensitive to that, maybe watch out. But if you're not sensitive and you wanna, you know, get a little little bit of that kind of wake up action in the morning, I would recommend. Ooh, one. from because there are so many different kinds, right? Mm. What which one would you recommend mostly? This one, I think, for the experience. But I mean, if you if you want to experience something for one thousand three hundred yen, yeah. that's you know that's a thing you could do. But one of the ones that is um like more what is it called? Better like mm -hmm. moisturizing is this one because this is one of the night ones and it says uh, ko hostu, so that means high moisture type. And then both of these are they both say ko hostu. This one also says that it's high moisture type. But I checked out online and this one looks like. The blue one looks like it's more moisturizing than the pink one. 
I have not personally tried these, but when I do, I do want to try this one, and I do want to try one more, and they're over here. So we have the vitamin C one because it's supposed to have vitamin C and I think that this does not have ascorbic acid I think it has vitamin C derivatives but it was recommended by a Japanese dermatologist called uh, Tomori Arata sensei mm. so she actually talked about this and she's a dermatologist so if she says it's good I believe her Ooh, and then are we going in with the de-influencing we're gonna go in with the de-influencing oh yeah because sometimes everything's in Japanese. It's hard to kind of know which one's good and which one you should avoid or things like that. Because there's so much better ones, you know? Yeah. So which is the one that we shall avoid? I'm sorry. These ones right here. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute! They're so cute. And this character right now, Chikawa, is super popular in Japan. And it's like off and popping. Everybody, you know, like they be getting the merchandise and all these cute things. And it's cute because it's like, what is it called? It has the little face. So like if you want to become Chikawa, you want to become one <gasps> with Chikawa. No, it's, it's going to be so cute. But that's it's, it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Because like the ingredients, I mean, they're they're all in Japanese, but it's pretty basic. Like it has like, uh, what is it called? Tsuboksa Ekisu is Shika. So it has like Shika extract. And then it has, what else? It has ceramides. But like if you want like a cream, not it's called a mask with ceramides, you would get this one I think would be a better product mm. than this little sheet mask right here. So if you want to pay 450 yen for one sheet mask, that's almost $5. You can do that. I would say maybe do it for the experience, but like to stock up, maybe for gifts. I don't know. But there's just like, this, just think, just think about it. You know, there's more options. There's more options out in the world is all I'm saying. I also saw a lot of your postings and I know that you're a huge fan of Korean beauty as well. I do. Yeah, and then you just told us that <laughs> Anua is also very popular in Japan, yeah? Anua is super popular mm. in Japan. The, I think, I'm sure you've talked about it before, the 77 yeah. the toner. Because it's just like so like gentle, right? I feel like it's like so perfectly balanced. It's just so gentle and easy but still hydrating and it's great. But let me tell you, did you know? That the she masks are great too because the she masks they come in with a she mask <laughs> excuse me and you can get them a donkey so this is a pack of three and it's only 700 yen so it's like a little bit over 200 yen per mask but the quality of this mask is so good i believe that this is the cream mask yes and it's so interesting because it actually is like a cream that's on the mask and it's so like and just like bro hydrating and just like refreshing you know like when you just feel something so good you lose your words that's what happened with this one and then this one which is the regular like it's supposed to be the 80 percent ample liquid but the sheet mask from what i could remember it was like a really interesting texture and it just like stuck to your skin and i don't know if you can see that i'm going off right now it's like not like vietnam but i'm like i'm off in the distance bro this this is a good sheet mask bro like, this will take you places Alrighty guys, that's the first part of the Japan skincare shopping series. Stay tuned in for part two, where we will continue to shop and roam around. Make sure to comment below on what J-Beauty recommendations you want to see next.